Yo, what's good everybody? It's Thunk. Today we got the queen of the Xersai herself, Rek'Sai in the jungle. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright. Not only is Rek'Sai the queen of the Xersai, but she's been queen of the jungle recently. And uh, a lot of that had to do with the quality of life buffs she received and Conqueror. Like, be honest, straight up, Conqueror. <laughs> now, Conqueror was uh, overtuned and they nerfed it, but... Um, Rek'Sai is still in a good place. I still think she is probably the best jungler out right now, especially if you like to duel and you like to kind of take control of your own destiny. <clears throat> right up there with like a Jarvan. I mean, if you're talking about the higher elos of play, I think Ivern, Nunu, although Nunu did just get nerfed, but more supportive junglers are going to be better <clears throat> if you are, uh, if you trust your team, right? If you have a carry you know, a couple carries on the, on the maybe a carry top laner and a carry mid. Um, other than that, though, I think you can't really beat her. Our matchup is Kane. Um, you can see the runes down here. And so we're going to roll them anytime we see them. So we want to try and go for that. Um, the, the bottom side of taking fights with Kane, though, is that every time you fight him, he gets a little closer and closer to becoming a real champion. <laughs> and that is a problem. So um, what I want to do is go straight to Scuttle here because I want to meet Kane here. I feel I have a feeling he's starting here, Raptor's red topside, especially since Riven isn't showing. So I'm actually just going to run straight over to his blue. Did Riven take any damage? No, but she did, she wouldn't need to. So I'm just going to run straight over to the blue. Um, and this would signal, hey, we're vertical jungling. So I don't expect to see Kane here. I'm going to ward over here. Um... And I just pop under right there just to get a little bit of healing, right? Just as we're kiting it out, jump back, get a little bit of healing from your fury, and just kind of, you know, plan this out. So um, one thing I do want to try and do here is I'm going to take the scuttle, and then I'm going to look mid. Um, and I might even just go straight over to my blue. Depending on what path he takes, he might not be expecting this, so... I'm going to come in this way. He's a little hurt. I have flash. Let's see if we can't do anything. First right? Hit him with the slow there. And I have flash. So there's my level 3. Mm. Yeah, again, we're cool taking this. Right? Let's cause them both to flash. Oh, boy. 2, 1. Close real close but zed really should have had that um so you kind of see here like we win hard early game so we took the buff um we three buffed him he can't do anything in his jungle now he'll die if he does so we see he's got 12 <clears throat> which would imply that he did raptors or krugs i think krugs still come out as four i'm not entirely sure but this is going to put us ahead because we have our whole we, we three buffed and we have our whole um Bot side to clear still, and Rek'Sai is just excellent in the early game. And Kane can't really do anything. Um, as much as I want to make this happen, he is so low, and I don't think it's going to happen, but I want to try here. I need her to... I probably should have went right there. That was a good time to go. I'm going to wait for her to use her three Qs again if she chooses to. She probably won't, but that's good. I need her to start using her Qs, and then we can go. Right? Oh, that really sucks for me. <clears throat> and it sucks that bot side just died. That's super unfortunate. <clears throat> so nothing doing there, so I didn't commit. If she used her Qs, then we could get the flash. But without that, it's going to be really hard for that. And, you know, as Mundo points out, we're really there in case she decides to dive. And then I can go in and make some stuff happen. So, all good, nonetheless. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about Rek'Sai um, as a champion hoping Kane doesn't take my raptors here because I didn't do them. Um, so her passive is this whole underground thing. She generates fury and while she's underground you can see tremors and you might have noticed it when I was going at Kane there in the top side. I was tracking them with those little footprints on the ground, those little footsteps. Uh, it's just the blinking circles. Little ones are for minions and monsters and then bigger ones are for uh, champions. <clears throat> and so you can track uh, I'm going to go for this scuttle here instead of going for my wolves. I mean, my crux. And so you can kind of track champions like that. All right. Let's see if uh, he's here. Right? We know he doesn't have a flash, and we have Thresh coming. So 
I actually don't have a... Oh, excellent hook. Um, he should just be dead. I'm actually just going to go ahead and give that over. And, uh... Uh-oh. Nope, we don't want that. We don't want to fight that guy at all. No, thank you. <laughs> just going to ward over there just so we can see him. Don't want to take Dragon right now. We're too low, and it's just the invite Zareth to poke us down and kill us. So I'm sure he hit it on accident, but give it over to Zed just because he's an assassin in a lane where, you know, he's already two kills up. Let's just see what he can do with it. <coughs> okay. So yeah, so that's her passive. Her, She's kind of a complex champion because she has abilities for underground and abilities for when she's above ground. So her Q is that little missile projectile you see me shoot there. It's got a pretty large range on it, but it is a skill shot. It travels pretty quickly. Um, you can hit it pretty easily, but kind of everyone expects it, right? So as soon as you do the animation, good players are going to try and dodge it. Uh, you might hit it anyway because it does travel pretty quickly. And then above ground, her Q... <clears throat> is that little three spinny attack that you see me do. <laughs> it's AoE and it's an auto attack reset. So we auto into our Q. And uh, she does it three times. Man, I'm going to do that so many times. Whenever you click on a tunnel, Rek'Sai automatically moves towards it to go into it. And uh, sometimes it really isn't helpful. <laughs> okay, so we're in a pretty good spot here. See some stuff happening, but uh, I want to go help. Coming down now. I mean, if they can bait this, we can make something happen, but if they can't bait... I mean, oh, he doesn't have any mana, so he's not going to be able to do anything here. Yeah, I'm with it. I just don't know that we win this. <clears throat> right? She would have to overstep. Okay, no. Nope. Nope. I will take this farm, though. Huh. I mean, I'll try. <laughs> I mean, I will attempt to take this farm. Goodness. <coughs> uh, so your W is the burrow and unburrow. So when you burrow, you go underground, you limit your vision, but you get the tremor sense. Um, when you're unburrowed, you get that extra, you know... What? <laughs> You get the extra vision, but then you lose your tremor sense, so... Nice, nice out. Can't really continue beyond that. Oh man, sucks, I don't have any, uh... Priority. And I don't think I'll be able to do anything about this here. <clears throat> Unless mid, like, backs. Mm, bot seems to be doing well. I'm gonna go ahead and come here. Because I'm six. You'll see the damage that Rek'Sai can put out here. Oof. That's super unfortunate that I had to flash for that. I'll be honest. <laughs> that is super unfortunate that I had to flash. <clears throat> can you get the hook? Doesn't matter. Woo! Clean! Wow. Yeah, I don't know why Zareth never showed up there. I kept expecting him to come down, and he never did. He definitely should have been there for that fight, and he just opted out. Um, the reason I really wanted to take that, I saw Bot was fighting. I know I've, I, I never, like, hovered down to it, but I could see on the minimap, right? <clears throat> I could see that their, their icons are basically on top of each other. That tells me, hey... They're fighting right now, so I am okay to go into this because he's not going to receive backup. I'm level 6, he's level 5. Let's go ahead and take advantage of that. I mean, Kane's super um, weak early game anyway. Let's go ahead and do it. But like I said before, I am helping him reach his goal of red Kane. So at some point, he's going to turn online, and he's going to be a problem for me. But that's not right now. Um, so I need to back because I got 3k gold. Been making so much stuff happen, but... We got it going. He's getting closer and closer. I wish you could see how close he was on his passive. Man, that was so close. Um, he'll get there at some point. Okay, so we're going to go Warrior, get some boots since we're rolling. Oh, man, I really want Mercs this game, don't I? I want both Tabbies and Mercs, but that CC is insane. So that sucks. 
Nice. If he can get out. He's dodging. He's killing himself. <laughs> he's dodging the E, right? We know what he's dodging, but... Uh, guy's using CC as CC. Just the fact that it might come. Bow! Get slowed. Oh, really? Uh-oh, that was a mistake, friend. <laughs> you certainly don't want to do that. <laughs> you most certainly don't want to do that. <laughs> you definitely don't want to lead off if you're Zareth with your stun. Nope, he was dead. I wanted him to flash, but he was dead regardless, so there was nothing happening there. I could almost kill Ribbon, couldn't I? I actually think I could kill Ribbon. Pretty sure I could 1v1 Ribbon. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see if she wants to fight this. He can bait. I'm coming in. Bam. So much damage. And now that it's undodgeable, it's nuts. Right, so that was one of the quality of life buffs that Rek'Sai received was that well, you can no longer dodge her ultimate. So, that is nutty, right? Oh, I didn't even realize. My bad. Okay, he wants it, but... <gasps> okay, first off, we should have never gotten that. He must not have had his ultimate. Or maybe we just CC locked him? You know what? Sometimes on Kane, honestly, like, sometimes when I'm playing Kane, I'll notice that, uh... <clears throat> I'm like smashing my ultimate and it's not going off. So I kind of like, you know, there's a possibility that. What? Oh, that was a bug, right? There's a possibility that he was smashing his ult and it just never went off. So you see how, like. Okay, so I guess I never really explained why Rek'Sai is so good right now. She's always been really good in the early game, early game duelists, you know. Her ability to create unique pathways for ganking around her using her tunneling system um, has always made her a really strong duelist and early game jungler. But with Conqueror, she can compete now because I don't remember when, but they nerfed her basically because she was so strong. But with Conqueror coming back in those quality of life buffs, she's actually a champion who can deal a ton of damage, and you kind of see it now. And the reason being is because she can stack up Conqueror so quickly with her Q, knockup, auto, E, and, I mean, right there, with that's four or five right there, right? Because every spell you cast... Um, I don't know if I can beat him right now. I would love to snipe this out. Oh, oh that would have been so nice. That would have been so nice to take that. <laughs> Um, but every spell cast is going to generate one stack of Conqueror, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, and then I have my full true damage uh, for my E, which I know I haven't explained yet because we've been kind of fighting non-stop. Um, and the Conqueror on top of that, all that extra damage. So that's really what makes her strong. I'm coming, friends. I'm on my way. Um, really? Me? Alright, well, can you do something? Nope. Alright, that's fine. I could flash, I'm not sure if it's worth it. He's on a killing spree? How? Okay, well, I'm gonna do this since he's up top. I kinda have to since he's up there, and they're probably going to get uh, Tower and Herald. Woo! Woo! That's unfortunate. That really shouldn't happen. Um, I know they saw me going in here, but with like a winning mid and bot lane, eh, that should not happen. That really shouldn't happen. So that's super unfortunate. <coughs> that my lanes couldn't react in time. Don't take it. Not worth it. And it's really, it's really unfortunate that he was able to get a kill top. He pressured bot, ran straight top, got a kill up there, and then was able to make it back in time for Dragon. Unlucky, man. Unlucky. Okay, so we're going this, and then we're going to go into our Black Cleaver, because again, we're going to be able to stack it really quickly, right? Because we're Rek'Sai, and all physical damage you do will apply a stack of Black Cleaver. So, we'll be able to stack it really quickly, help out with our burst. I, us dying there was really bad. Oh, 850 shutdown gold to who? 
to Nico. Oh. Well, at least they double killed, I guess, but still. That champion is busted right now. <clears throat> oh, man. That's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. And now he's 6 4 and 1. Mm, that's a problem. That is a pro Can I click on this, please? Thank you. And that there. All right. And I want to take Harold when it comes up. Or I mean, Scuttle when it comes up. Um, I'm not entirely sure that we will have the advantage. Oh, wow. Good for him. <laughs> In team fights. Um, maybe with Mundo because of all the magic damage they have. But Kane does a lot to negate Mundo, actually, right? So, eh, eh, it's tough. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get this earlier. Because if you can get this earlier... Oh, that was first turret? Nice. If you can get this early on in the game, like right when it spawns, you're going to be able to get a ton of money off of plates. So, if you can try and get Harold pretty early in the game, it's real nice. 10 out of 10 would recommend. We want to try and drop this mid, though, for sure, because, well, I am on my way. Uh, he doesn't want it. Okay. He does not want it, so that's fine. <clears throat> he would have had to have done some things. I mean, I get it. He would have had to outplay a little bit to stall since I wasn't quite in position. I'm level 11 now. Feels good. Rank 2 of my ultimate. We have the Herald, and they are trying real hard so gotta try and make some stuff happen here we see Kane which is nice um, we'll see if he wants to come this way okay that's good okay still coming here oh if I hit that I could ult feels bad Oh man, if I could have hit that, I would have ulted. If Kane's here, he knocks me up and stops me there. Oh, nice. Okay, so we drop Shelly down. Get a turret. We can probably push a little further. Um, we see this guy here. Oh no! <laughs> we went the wrong way. Oh man. No, no, no. We don't want this anymore. We can just back out now. We got what we came for. This isn't it. No, this isn't it. Let's just leave it. We got what we came for. Good job. Now get on out of here. <clears throat> I like this call. Definitely Lucian and Thresh should stay mid. And, uh... Interesting. I mean, I can't go for this because Nico's there. Uh, so maybe I can steal it. Like that. Eh, good try. <laughs> I would have went in earlier if I thought everyone was going to collapse. I Honestly, I didn't have faith that everyone was going to collapse, so I chose not to. And maybe I should have went for it, I don't know. but I didn't have confidence that everyone was going to be there soon enough, and I wasn't sure how long I would live with the Nico and Riven Burst. Okay, so talking a little bit more about Riven, kind of getting through the champion as this video goes on. <laughs> so I talked about her W. Um, it's definitely worth noting that when you're underground, you heal for your Fury. And uh, that's really good in the early game. Um, this is interesting here. I think we can win. <clears throat> if I come up under here. But I think they know that I'm here, so I'm just going to back. If they would have all end on Zed there, we definitely win that. Obviously, that's not real. So, let's just back. We're going to get our Black Cleaver here, and then we're going to start working towards this guy here, because Rek'Sai is all about the early game. She's going to fall off. She falls off hard, and uh, Zed falls off hard. Kane is going to just continue to scale. Um, their whole team kind of outscales us, so we really got to make some stuff happen. And, uh... I think we just lost Infernal, too, so that's not going to help. Because <clears throat> I am... Oof. Drop that ward there. Alrighty. I mean, this is worth trying to go for. 
Um, I just need to get vision on it. So. And if I felt like I could get in there with some help, I would go for it. Um, Zed's coming in. I think I'm going to go for this. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, well, we got it. But, uh... All of us dying here is definitely not worth it. Because <laughs> they can just immediately go to Baron. Oh, good dodging. Oh, no, you should have just went that way, friend. <clears throat> should have just gone that way. Oof. Ugh. Oh, lantern! Lantern! Oh, nice! <laughs> wow. I can't believe he got out there. Can't believe he got out there. A lot of failed things going on. Okay, let's grab a new ward. Um, I guess we'll go sweeper. <clears throat> okay, so Rek'Sai's E, uh, when she's underground, creates the tunnel. It's kind of like her gap closer, right? And a big part of why this champion is so good in the early to mid game is because you can create tunnel work networks. You can kind of get around wherever you need to be very quickly. Right? I might be dead here. I just really want to get this just in case they decide to start Baron. Okay. So you can kind of get everywhere you need to super quickly, especially around your jungle, right? If you set up a good network, you can get from camp to camp to camp super quickly. <clears throat> and then, on the above ground is her bite. Which, when it's built up, when you have your fury built up and it's a red bar, it does true damage. So you definitely want to get it up as high as possible before you use it. It does more damage the more you ha the more fury you have, and then when you're at you know 100% fury, then it deals true damage. So I want to fake like I'm going down there and then come back this way. After you kill a ward, it reveals for a second. So I wanted to try and fake right there. Okay. So looks like we're just gonna go ahead and let uh, let Mundo push. So we definitely don't want to be dying here. <clears throat> mm, this isn't it. I like the little you know hook damage, but ooh, I almost got that actually. But uh, we don't really want to do anything here. We just want to make sure that they aren't going to do Baron. All right, now that we don't know where they are, he has to be careful. I'm going to go ahead and drop my control ward here. I really don't like putting it there. I'd rather put it here, but eh, it's kind of important now. So, Okay, so I'm just going to back up here. And uh, just don't know where they're at. So we don't want to be trying to take any fights. That's a good ward. Okay, we see Mundo collapsing. Right? Oh, there's that. Okay, oh. now I have to back off. <laughs> uh oh. No! Dang. Super unfortunate. Yeah, so Rek'Sai being so squishy, you kind of need a dive partner. That's why I was waiting on Mundo to come down, but they still weren't focusing him, right? They were still focusing me. So I probably pushed myself forward a little too early, and we just don't have enough threat to really... Oh, man. Thresh died, too. Oh, they can turn so easily off of this. Uh, they really should go contest, because we don't have the wave clear to just let them have that, but I guess we're just giving it up. So, okay. Yeah, you don't really want to give this up in this scenario right because we don't have the wave clear to deal with baron so baron means that they are going to get in hips or end the game so right here you know if we have better maybe more skilled or like experienced confident players uh you're going to go up with lucian and mundo and zed and you're going to poke at them and try and whittle them down and try and get them off the baron if you can at least contest it so that they don't get it as easily as just oh they got it it's theirs um, now, some might argue, well, two died, so of course it's theirs. Well, yeah, but <clears throat> the thing to, thing to remember is that we don't have a way to deal with Baron. It'd be one thing if we had a way to deal with it. We've got, you know, great wave clear or whatever, but we really don't. We're splitting with Mundo and with Zed. Zed, who isn't really winning, isn't really doing much of anything. Okay, they see me there. And, uh, you know, Mundo split, like, I should probably sp 
be splitting other than Mundo, because Mundo, although he dealt with Riven pretty well, um, he's not going to be able to threaten too much. So. <coughs> Our win conditions now have kind of slimmed down, but we want to be trying to make picks. And I think we just give this, honestly. It's it's an ocean dragon, which sucks for us, because they, they want to poke and siege out. Um, so that plays into their hand you know just just as well as the Baron does so now they can have Ocean Dragon and um... oh yeah I forgot we got the Inferno <laughs> and Baron uh, so it kinda sucks for us but you know maybe we can do something here they really shouldn't be fighting here at all really okay I'm gonna see if we can make anything happen here Okay. Just in case he didn't get it, I wanted to make sure that we got it. So that's one Baron gone. Ugh. Ugh. You really can't dash on a cane like that. That's not how you want to do that. <clears throat> I definitely need to get some MR after this. Um, we probably end up giving up something here. Which sucks, because I think it's going to be this, because I don't think we can... Na we don't have the wave clear to hold. This is what I was talking about, right? We don't actually have the wave clear. So I'm going to try and do this here. But... Yeah, that's kind of like... Well, we can split them, or we can just kind of give up stuff, and... I don't know, I thought that was the best play there. Kane was smart enough to come down and join. <clears throat> Otherwise, we just give up everything. Because they're just going to stay here and slowly poke down. The cannon's going to do work. If they're patient, then this just slowly gets chipped down and killed. Well, Nico was doing the right thing and pressuring in this lane. Okay. But, all in all, they haven't gotten too much with their Baron. And uh, it's about up. So, really, that's not bad. I mean, we killed Riven with it which kind of stifled their presence in the top lane. They were trying to shove all three lanes when really I think they should have just been in one. Just commit to one lane because we can't actually... We can't really run into you because you have Karma and you've got the peel from... Uh... Uh... Yeah. See? And that's all that, right? We have to like either run at them or get the pick from... Um get a pick from Thresh. So it's not really, uh, it's not a great deal for us, or not a great thing for us that we have to like run at him like that. And now we're at the point in the game where Kane wins. Um, whether, he, I don't know if he knows it or not. He's acting like he doesn't know it, but um, he can actually beat me 1v1 now. And we'll see if he acts on it. I'm not sure if I should put my control ward in here so they can't actually see us in our base. But I just really feel like they're they're not playing this right at all. I mean I guess for them it doesn't matter because they can they're going to outscale us regardless. But I really feel like they should just all be in one lane sieging. I mean they lost their Baron now, so there's that. Um, and Nico is scaling up this champion and champion is gross. <coughs> This is a gross champion. Well, he gets it now. <laughs> he gets it now. Okay, so we're going to give this up and we're just going to hold at the end hit. Oh, that ain't it, man. Get it to slow with the smite. Okay, nice. That's pretty good. And with Baron coming up in a minute. Oh, no, please help me here. Help me here, please. Um. Woo! Woo! I died so fast. <coughs> oh, he didn't take the lantern? Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! This is a rough one now. We played the early game well, but just they just we don't have the wave clear. And uh, it's going to take a lot. And we just don't have it, really. 
because we don't have wave clear and uh, we don't have the damage it seems from Lucian and Zed which sucks because I got Zed rolling hoping that he would kind of take over the game um, but really like I said in the beginning right if you want to control your own destiny and take over the game I should have done that so Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> not enough. Not enough. I wanted one more attack in before I ulted, and I couldn't do it. But all in all, not bad. The problem is now they're definitely going to go get Baron again, and that's when we will lose the game. But I mean, we really should just be <laughs> we should just be grouping and running up there. <laughs> We really should, like, all three, all four of them should be going up there and running straight at this. Because Mundo can run and he can face check all of this together, right? He can face check all this and he can go up there. Okay, well, they did ba they did that instead of Baron, so that's good. But we, we just aren't, uh, we aren't playing smart here. <clears throat> okay, so get that. Work on some MR, which I probably needed, like yesterday but we were doing so well that I thought it was gonna carry over a bit but they started grouping and uh, playing better than us unfortunate so I mean we kinda have to make a stand here cuz if they get this Baron then they just win so hit it I don't think they're doing it but they certainly could be Oh, dang. I just die so fast. <laughs> I just can't move. <laughs> die so fast and can't move. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't be the one going in there and face checking first. That's what we have a Mundo for. So he can run in and face check. But he was farming top instead and we just never grouped and did what we needed to do. I mean, we ran the early game but when they scale much harder than us like they do then we have to actually do something with our lead right oops and we just never did uh we got caught out at the wrong times we didn't really play around our strengths which was you know our top side our bot side was kind of losing and um we didn't pressure hard enough and take objectives or play around vision or anything. We really didn't do anything that we needed to do to win that game. And then at the end of the day, they just outscaled us and got picks. And I mean, that's going to happen. <clears throat> but I'm sure you can go and pinpoint. Um, hmm. We'll give it to Thresh. He played decently well. But you can probably look back and pinpoint <coughs> exactly where this all went wrong. Let me see. Look at the overview here. Right? So when we're winning here, right, we're getting these kills. Right? Got the these kills here, these kills here. Um, gave one back in the bot side. Like this, this all translates to early game stomp. We should be winning. How much are we ahead by this board? almost 3k 3k and then we get up to 4k a 4k gold lead at 12 minutes into the game means we should just win the game at this point but for whatever reason we stop making good decisions and it all goes downhill um, i think kane started getting kills in the bot lane and yeah this yeah it was just all bad it was all downhill from there <clears throat> this one was pretty bad because I gave over the shutdown to Nico, who was already kind of OP. And then it kind of just, uh, you know, it all just tilted off the face of the earth. But, I mean, we played pretty well. We played pretty well until it fell apart. So, we were winning until we weren't. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you learned something as always. I'm Thunk. Keep your head up. Keep grinding.